Welcome everyone, Farmer Cup here. This is going to be kind of an early access look at a couple of mods by Superfly. So, a uh, big thank you to Superfly for sending these over to me to take a look at. Uh, the first is very simple over here. This is, if we go in the store to look, don't look over there. Look at the stuff over there. It's all secret. Uh, this is under sheds. This is the modern two-car garage. At least $30,000 to purchase right now. You can see where the lighting is going to be at at night, which is pretty cool. But if we come up to it, open our help menu there. You can see open door great animation and great uh great sound to go with it the doors fold back up like you'd expect with a normal garage which is pretty cool like that you can come back to this panel here and it already turned the shed lights on it's got some nice lighting in here it looks quite nice i love it it's really good detail to it too as well got some blinds up and everything you can go in and out this door here as well we go out this door close it back up there and that is all that she wrote it's very well done i think you can see in the windows really easily it's a nice uh i don't know how possible this is it'd be cool if like, the blinds closed down i don't know how useful that would be that'd probably be just a lot of work for no one to use but then you could hide your equipment no i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about anymore but anyhow i love it let's take a look at night what this is going to look like so let's go ahead and fast forward some time we're ourselves over to the nighttime to take a look here so you can see the lights on the outside come on automatically you have some nice lights there now, if we go in here and we turn off lights in here, see those are still on out there. It looks really nice. Really well done. So there we go. And speaking of, since we're at nighttime, I don't think there's any lights on this thing over here, but uh, you can see some of the triggers. We got ourselves a grain dryer up over here. Yeah, I don't see lights. Which is, you don't really need them on here, I guess. Uh, let's move forward to the next day here. It's raining. Raining, of course. Let's, get, let's just go to the next day. I know how I can fix this easier than this. Uh, we can turn that off because we don't need that. And then we can turn. Oh, it's going to be under settings, isn't it? In here. There we go. Go down to where are we at? Is it in here? No, it was in here, isn't it? I'm just losing track of it. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Turn that off. Visual month. We'll do July. And there we go. It always will be July. Fast forward a little bit here. Get us into the day. And beautiful. It's nice and bright out. So yes, this is a grain dryer. So the purpose of this is to dry grain. I think that makes sense. Um, if we place it, if we go in here under buildings, uh, or actually under production, excuse me, go to factories, very end, we have the grain dryer there. So $145,000, depending on where you place it, it might be a little bit more. But yes, quite nice. Rotate smoothly, just like, just like that. And you can see down here, it's going to take wheat, corn, and barley, and it's going to output wheat, barley, and corn. But the dried version you can barely see the little indicator on there but i'll show you guys in a second here so if we go up to this nice little uh wrench here we can already go into the production menu here um or if we wanted to we can just open up our menu and go in here this way see dry corn dry wheat and dry barley so a thousand cycles per month so it'll go through 150,000 liters every month of each one of these depending on whatever one you're running there um and you'll see that the output is going to be 135,000 liters so you lose a little bit in it but you get the output over here and you can see it just works like any other production chain or anything like that. I've already put some wheat in here. I did drive around and try to cheat by just dumping it somewhere, seeing if there's a trigger somewhere, because the trigger I saw was up there. Uh, but there's no there's no way to dump it in without this equipment here, which I'll show you that stuff in a second. And you can't get it out, as far as I could tell, without uh, some conveyor belts as well. Uh, these two conveyor belts I'm using are base game pieces of equipment here. We have the two Meridian, or the Meridian and the Convey All there. The Convey All is what you're going to use to put it in, and the Meridian is what you're going to use to put it, or take it out. So this is your out point right here. And then this is your, or excuse me, your end points right up there. So you can back up a trailer to this guy right here. I'll show you guys that. Back this guy up. And I believe I left the conveyor belts on, so it should just take it all. And you can see it up in the upper right hand corner. You should be able to see it here in a second. Yep, you can see it up there. Start to. We go in a flight mode, it'll be a little bit easier to see that. You can see it coming up into here. Just like that. And I do have to have it over this cover. I tried just dumping it anywhere to see if it would work, and it does not. You have to have it over that cover, which makes sense. That seems pretty reasonable, but I just wanted to test it to see if there was a possibility otherwise. And this is the sell point for it, but we'll we'll get to that in a second here. Alright, so we go in there now. We have some wheat and corn in there. Or wheat and barley, excuse me. We'll activate both of these. It should not take too long to finish those out so if we just fast forward time a little bit 
We can see, yep, it's already completely done. It did not take long at all. And now we can get it out if we'd like to by driving a trailer under this other conveyor belt over here. We go here. We can get all of the different stuff that we could put into it out as well, which is cool to note. Uh, but let's go ahead and get uh, get the dry wheat out. Sure, why not? And if we go into the menu here, go down to the cell menu at the very bottom, you're going to get some decent prices for some of the stuff in here as well. So um, you're going to get a little bit more. So our current economy for wheat, we're looking at like 990 and barley, we're looking at like 919, uh, 732 to 680. So even with a little bit that you're going to lose, you're going to make more out of it too. And if you wanted to play a little bit more realistic or have it set up that way, you could easily do it. But now you can take whatever you've gotten out of it and you can drive over to this cell point. Now, some maps, there might be a cell point. If you install this, there might be a cell point that'll already take it. Uh, it just kind of depends on how those cell points are set up. But there's always this little one here you can place yourself. And you can see we just come over it, start dumping in, and we're selling it off. This cell point is under production, under selling points at the very end. It's only $500 to buy, and it only takes these three items. So uh, pretty easy to use and everything like that. But uh, yeah, a couple of cool mods. If you don't know, Superfly is uh, we're working with Farm Bob right now to update the Mars map. And has done a lot of other cool mods and stuff like that as well. So uh, I was excited to see this, uh, this coming soon, hopefully, to everyone. Uh, it should be all platforms as well. I don't think there's any reasons it, it wouldn't be all platforms, but you've got a nice little American garage. I think a lot of people are really going to like this. Um, and then this guy over here just having this big, massive grain dryer. And honestly, you probably could place you probably could place uh, multiple next to Let me get rid of the uh, there's a store trigger out here. I was using the store delivery mods. Let me get rid of that. You could probably easily place several of these right next to each other um, and go that route if you wanted to. Yeah, you could do... Oh yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, they could have several of those. Go I mean, honestly, they run really quick, so you probably won't need really more than one unless you have a massive farming operation. But you can easily place more than one next to each other like that if you wanted to do that to uh, really increase your efficiency or however you want to do it. But uh, And this thing is big enough here. You could just go through, fill them all, and then you could come through later with the other conveyor belt and then empty them all out here out the front. But uh, yeah, very well done. I like it a lot. Yeah, perfect. But anyhow, guys, that's what I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.